Welcome to the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under 5 minutes a day. You may have noticed the change in intro music and that's because I am excited to announce that we are moving on to everybody's favorite subject, weather. Weather is a very broad, dynamic topic and one of my favorites to teach. I hope that moving forward I can introduce you to weather in a manner that's easy to digest and clear up any confusion about weather topics along the way. I hope you're all as excited as I am, so let's dive right in. We will be covering acceptable sources of weather data for flight planning purposes. Looking at Appendix 1 of the FAA Safety Team document, General Aviation Pilot's Guide to Pre-Flight Weather Planning, Weather Self-Briefings, and Weather Decision Making. We may see that the list of acceptable weather providers includes the Aviation Digital Data Service, Automated Surface Observing System, or ASOS, Automated Terminal Information Service, or ATIS, Automated Weather Observing System, or AWOS, Center Weather Advisory, A Flight Service Station, Hazardous In-Flight Weather Advisory System, or HIWAS, Low-Level Wind Shear Alert System, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, this is where ForeFlight draws their weather information from, the National Weather Service, Telephone Information Broadcast Service, and Transcribed Weather Broadcast. This concludes today's video over acceptable sources of weather data for flight planning purposes. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll consider liking it. I'd love to hear any feedback in the comments. If you're new to my videos, subscribe to keep track of any new additions. And if you know someone you think may benefit from this video, I hope that you'll share with them. Safe flying!